Hey, True Believers England team here with another top 10 comics sold to readers. Now, this is the countdown that doesn't just talk about what shops bring into the, their stores, but what actually people are leaving those stores with, preferably after buying. After we count down the hard copies, we're going to go over to Comixology, the world's largest digital comic book shop, and uh, see who wins the week. Is it Marvel? Is it DC? Is it uh, Independence? Now, DC does publish less than Marvel, so they are at a disadvantage, but I have faith in people. I'm a DC fan myself. I've got a dog in the hunt, but I'm always honest about this. All right, now let's kick back, relax, and get this party started. All right, before we get to the countdown, these are the contributing shops. So if you're in their neighborhood, stop by, say hi, maybe even buy something, and don't forget to support your own local comic book shop. Starting the countdown off at number 10, we have Hellions, number 11. Coming in at number 9 is Walesville. In the number 8 spot, we have Matt Kent's ENIAC, number 1. At number 7 is Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number 3. Coming in at number 6 is The Immortal Hulk, number 46. At number 5 is Star Wars, War of the Bounty Hunters, number 1. Coming in at number 4 is The Crime Syndicate, number 3. At number 3 is Batman, Fortnite Zero Point, number 2. In the runner-up spot at number 2, we have Heroes Reborn, issue number 1. And coming in at number 1 is Batman, number 108. So, DC didn't do too well this week. <laughs> two, uh, two books in the countdown. We have three independents, and uh, then we have... Man, they got beat by Walesville. Think about that. And ENIAC, what the heck are those? Uh, I know it's Matt Kent's uh, new, new thing they're going. Uh, and five from Marvel. For all the, uh, oh my gosh, Marvel is collapsing, Marvel isn't doing well, people are buying more Marvel than they are DC or independent comic books. Think about that for a second, kids. But that's what I've got to say about the countdown. Let's see what the shops are saying about the countdown. Graham Crackers Comics says, Batman Fortnite being number one again is no real surprise. Star Wars had a very strong showing with the opening issue for a big crossover event with a fan favorite character front and center with Boba Fett. Now, honestly, I'm not a Fortnite player, so I haven't jumped on this Batman Fortnite bandwagon. I might check out the comic, but uh, Star Wars, I'm looking forward to it. haven't read it. Once again, the book's waiting for me at the uh, comic shop, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do it. Because as much as I'm not a big fan of Marvel, they do do Star Wars well. Sailfish Comics says, Miracle Molly flogged Heroes Reborn sales and Boba beat Spider-Man in a week. With relatively few other surprises, Invincible Red Sonya gets honorable mention because it really got close to the top 10, which is more than any Red Sonya book in well over 10 years can say. Okay, of course Batman's going to sell more than Red Sonya. I will say this, Amy Chu's Red Sonya is definitely something to pick up, so if you find the trade paperback, do yourself a favor and check that one out. Eh, modern day, it's okay. I, I can see why it hasn't been near the top 10 in a long time. Rodman Comics says Fortnite number two had even more people interested in hunting for the second issue uh, than the first one. Word is getting out even more. Fortnite is also getting kids into the store. Granted, they all want the code the issue has, uh, though at least it is bringing new people in and strong sales this week. And the good thing is some kids are going to actually read the comic and enjoy it, maybe come back for another one. Even if it's not Fortnite, maybe a regular Batman or something along those lines. Uh, it's kind of like when you get somebody, they watch your video, you get 10 or ten of them, maybe one or two will actually sub and go. It, it's just the way it is. But fingers crossed this actually turns into something. Summit Comics says, My biggest ordering miss for the week was Marjorie Finnegan's Temporal Criminal. We ordered a lot and promoted it, but it just didn't get legs, sadly. Eve number one almost broke into our top ten. It's deserving of a little more love. I was also happy with the sales on Aftershock's Eden One Shot. And Swamp Thing being in the top ten is great because it is some of the most solid storytelling with amazing art. Heroes Reborn was a real question mark on how it would do. Coming in above Spider-Man was good. When I'm done here, I'm actually going to be reading some Heroes Reborn, so fingers crossed it's actually decent. 
I'm hoping, I always hope for Marvel to give us that old-fashioned style comic. Occasionally they do. Daredevil, Iron Fist, Juggernaut, Maestro. Um, there are things out there that are decent and fingers crossed. I haven't read it, though. Haven't read it yet. Uh, I've got a Marjorie Temporal Criminal uh, at the comic shop. I looked through it. The art is nothing spectacular, and that may be the reason why some people are a little bit hesitant to pick it up. Alrighty, gang, so that's what the comic shops have to say, and the, the list used to be longer. Anyway, we're going to go over to Comixology, world's largest digital comic book shop, and we're going to find out who wins the week digitally. Marvel, DC, Independence, once again, DC's not publishing as much, but if everybody buys everything that DC's publishing, then yes, they could beat Marvel. Alrighty, so <laughs> let's... Uh, Let's head on over there and uh, see what happens. Starting the countdown off at number 10, we have Suicide Squad, number 3. Coming in at number 9 is Die, number 16. And the number 8 spot is Green Lantern, number 2. At number 7, The Crime Syndicate, number 3. And the 6th spot is Amazing Spider-Man, number 65. Coming in at number 5 is The Immortal Hulk, number 46. At number 4, we have Heroes Reborn, issue number 1. And the number 3 spot is Hellions, number 11. And the runner-up spot at number 2 is Batman, number 108. And topping the countdown at number 1 is Marauders, number 20. Damn, Marvel wins again. Come on, guys. The Swamp Thing should have made it to the top ten, not die. That's played out, isn't it? Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, what am I to do? What am I to do with you guys? I don't know. Who's buying the X-Men, by the way? I thought we were done with them. Oh, my gosh. You got to be really, uh, really excited for that Hellions Gala or Hellfire Gala that's coming out, right? My goodness gracious, that's going to be good. Looking forward to that. But let's face it, Die got into the top 10. That's great to see any independent comic books making the top 10. Um, Marvel did actually get the first spot. Um, and then, yeah, the middle is kind of owned by DC. So, okay. At least there's some good stuff. And I'm loving the fact that Crime Syndicate and Suicide Squad are in there. Those are uh, two of my three favorite DC Comics right now. Alrighty, you know I like to stretch it out. See if DC could pull out a win here. It used to be Marvel that would own the back uh, the back 10. Let's see how it goes. Coming in at number 11 is The Swamp Thing. It's now 4 DC, 5 Marvel, and 1 Independent. At number 12, we have Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters. It is now Marvel 6 to DC's 5 and Independent's 1. Coming in at number 13 is Strange Academy number 10. It's now Marvel 7, DC 5, and Independence 1. At number 14, we have X-Men Curse of the Man-Thing. It's now 8, Marvel, DC 5, and Independence 1. At number 15, we have Noctera, making it our second independent comic book on the countdown. And at number 16, we have Tales of the Aether, number one. So now that's three independent comic books in the countdown. And at 17, we have the next Batman Second Son, chapter 10. So now it's seven Marvel, six DC, and three independent comic books in the countdown. At number 18, we have Ruby and Justice League. You know what? I might be cheating here, but I'm going to give one to the independents and one to DC. So now it's seven DC. Four Independents, and seven Marvel. Okay, we got a tie. At number 19, we have the Good Asian, number one. So that's, let's see, seven Marvel, seven DC, and now five independent comic books. And number 20 brings us Firepower. So you know what? I guess we're going to have a tie between Marvel and DC and Independents trailing just a little bit with only six. But hey, that still is pretty cool. Seriously, I'm counting this as a win for everybody. Now, granted, when you're just doing the top 10, it's Marvel. Uh, but, hey, I've been doing this for, what, two, three years now? And I always stretch it out to the back 20, so I'm not cheating or anything. But it's really good to see that kind of mix in the top 20. I mean, think about it. Six independent comic books people are buying. What's weird is the Walesville made the top 10 hard copies but was nowhere to be found. And literally... It's just not on uh, Comixology, so I'm wondering how that would have done. I, I've looked for it. Um, how, would it. how would it have done had it been there? Uh, would people still be buying that or ENIAC 
if uh, if it was there, is it a speculator thing as far as that's concerned? So I've got that. I think that's kind of interesting. Overall, yeah, I guess I'm kind of satisfied with Countdown. I would like to see a few more DCs in the 10, but what am I... St- that's, that's just me. I'm a bit of a fan, uh, a little bit of a fanatic, as they say. Uh, overall, though, there you go. Good times, good times. But what do you think? What's too high? What's too low? What was left off of the countdown this week that you thought, whoa, that's a good book. Why isn't it? Why are people reading this? Uh, Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, of course, to click like and comment, comment, comment. Please share. Uh, Get the interaction there. That lets uh, the algorithm know that people are interacting with the channel and are interested. So please do that. And if you don't mind helping out the channel, um financially going over to patreon or to ko-fi links in the description below drop a dollar in the till helps keep the lights on helps keep making videos for you like thank everybody who's already done that and to everyone all of the true believers thank you very very much for watching